Oh, need a car, need a car, need a bag, need a bag. Need something better than what, what you had. Ooh. Not sure what you wanna wear to go. Well, there's Ooh. one place that you need, need to know. SVG is a place for me where you get Ooh. superior value guaranteed. Welcome to another episode of SVG Motors Weekly. Hopefully this week you're gonna learn something, you're gonna be entertained, and you're gonna have lots of fun. So guess what though? You don't have, if you missed the show, you can go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to SVG Motors Weekly, and you can catch any one of the old shows. So sit back, enjoy the show. We're at the great strides for cystic fibrosis, to find a cure for cystic fibrosis, and believe it or not, there is, they, they're this close, this close to finding a cure, and these walks across the entire country and the money that, that the people, the nice people that have donated their, of their time and their money is, is gaining stride, and we're really close to a cure. So things like this are absolutely necessary to get to that, to that point. So join us every year. This year we're out here at, at uh, Helena, out on Helena Street at Island, Dayton, Dayton Island Park. It's beautiful out here. It's a great day. We're having fun. There's ice cream, donuts, sandwiches, hamburgers, kids. Come on out. Hand it up, cash out 15%. What? Hey, hey, buddy, look. Haven't even broken a sweat. We're, we're at the Metro Parks, the, the Island Metro Parks for cystic fibrosis. And does this thing go any faster? Because, I mean, all right. Uh, we're hanging out here, cystic fibrosis. We're walking for Kelly. Uh, I'm walking for Taryn and, uh, and Dustin Madden, who's passed away, who's a good friend of mine. So this means a lot to me. If you guys couldn't make it out this year, come out next year. It's an awesome cause, great group of people. We like to have fun. Uh, I, I exercise once a year and it's today. So don't tell me you don't exercise because I don't exercise. And, and if I don't exercise and can do this, so can you. Come out, hang out, we'll party. Hey, welcome to SVG. Hello, fellas. I'm looking for Steve. Yeah, his Marshall. Okay, one second. Hi there. What's up? I like to sell cars. You want to sell cars? Yeah. You want to sell cars? I want to sell cars. Um, okay, well, come with me. We're going to do a little test. So, what's your name anyway? Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. I got to tell you, you're pretty bold. So, uh, let's start with this car. Do you know what this is? A Dodge Charger. A Dodge what? A Charger. Okay, and uh, what's this? A Hemi Bee. That's a Rumble Bee. I think that's a, that's a, a Rumble Bee. I think it's a Rumble Bee. It's a Hemi Bee. You think it's a Hemi Bee? Yeah, it's a Hemi Bee. You might be right. You might be right. Well, let's let's look under the hood here. This is where everything matters. Do you know anything about? Do you know anything about engines and stuff? This is the Hemi. Oh, okay. Well, you're right about that. The Hemi Shaker. It's a shaker. What's that big hole in there for? A shaker. A shaker? What do you mean a shaker? The engine shakes. The engine shakes? It needs enough room to shake. So it, it, it shakes like this? This <laughs> Really hard like that? Mm -hmm. Um, what else can you tell me about the front of this car? Well, we got the secret. Uh... What does this thing do? It's. It, if you're too close to a car, the whole car stops automatically. What? If you get too close to a car, the whole car just stops automatically. By itself? What? Are you serious? Yep. The car will stop by itself? Yeah. How did you know that? The, I drove it before, and the car just stops. That is, that's new technology. That's pretty cool. Man, that's impressive. That's impressive. All right, well, let's move around this side of the car. What about these wheels? Now, I got a question. 20 inch. 
These are 20 inch wheels? I like the black ones better. <laughs> you know, I like the chrome wheels better. Uh, you know, you know, everybody's everybody's kind of going with the black wheels these days. I like the the Brembo racing brakes. The Brembo, yeah, those are Brembo racing brakes. That's uh, how did you know that? I mean, I you are impressive, Alex. I took them on a race. I took them on a racing track. You did? Yeah, and I raced it. She stopped. Stops good. Racing so when you're going fast, you you want a car that has good brakes or bad brakes? Those things stop her in the back, and it's like, and it, like, and the whole wheel goes, and it, the whole wheel stops. When it spins, it stops where it is, and then the whole thing, and then it stops before it can hit a car, because we got that, uh, the camera, when you get too close to a car. Oh, it has to stop? Yeah, you explain that to me. And That's... this helps do it. Yeah, those Brembo brakes. It hey. helps stop the whole car. And, and that was the that that's that's the rumble bee, right? No, it's the hemi bee. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. I, I keep messing that up. I don't know why. I keep thinking that's a. Uh, what's wrong with me? Okay, so I have a question. Now we just got this car. What's your name again? Steve. Oh. So. It, so most striped cars on cars, the stripes go. That way, Mr. this stripes go up and down. Mr. Why do they do that? Mr. Steve? Yes? This sometimes thing or things are this different. Sometimes things are just different? Yep. Okay, I'll buy that. Okay, well, what about back here? This is the secret backup camera. You it when you start the car, it lights. When you back up, like, oh, well, and you almost get that car, yeah. the whole thing comes up on the dash. And it tells you what, when, it tells you, like, if you're about to hit something, it, it tells you when you, you're about to, like, crash. So it comes up on the dash and you... So it's, this is a video camera. Video camera, mm-hmm. This is how you open the V trunk. Just take a look at that. Wow. Wow. Alex, I'm 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 extremely impressed with your with your ability here. Thank you. And uh do you know what that is? This is our the Phoenix bird. Yep, this is our logo, so it's our logo. You got the right color, now we just gotta get the logo on your shirt like mine. You want to be a part of the SBG Motors team? Yeah. Do you? Well, I'll tell you, you got the right stuff. You got the, do you have a driver's license? You can make a thick one. Um, I don't know if that'll work. No, I don't have a driver's license. You don't have a driver's license? All right, well, you know what? I got another idea. I got another idea. But before we do that. Make a thick one. Uh, I don't think that's good. Okay, no. Let's look at the inside. Do you know anything about the inside of the car? In the inside? Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. All right. All right. We found some superheroes, like legit. I just saw this <laughs> dude on TV last week. Dude, you are unreal. Uh, mad talent. Why, well, thank you. Face looks terrible, but mad talent, buddy. That's, That's all fair. I'm saying. You got a good six pack, too. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we are here with Hero Strong. Hashtag we are hero strong and your name is Megan Megan <laughs> Why don't you kind of explain oh. <laughs> the, this whole thing because this is really awesome Well, we're a nonprofit organization that um, I was to say Batman's actually a little bit better at uh, telling about it So he's usually the spokesperson. Uh, yeah, we're hero strong uh, We strive to bring hope and inspiration and strength to children with cancer or other deadly diseases uh, we are volunteer organization, so everybody you see here is here on their own, you know, own volunteer time. Uh, we go to Relay for Life, uh, ACS, MBA, uh, Cystic Fibrosis, wh whoever needs us and wherever we need to be uh, to bring encouragement and strength to kids. So my, my question is, is, everybody loves a superhero. What motivated you first, I'm sure you guys were fans of superheroes before the, before Hero Strong, but what motivated you to go, you know what, 
I'm gonna be my favorite superhero and I'm gonna come do these events. Well, I mean, is it something in your life or did you just decide you wanted to do it? Uh, for me, uh, I lost uh, my father to cancer and uh, many other you know, family members throughout my time. Uh, and we met a little girl named Reagan in our community who uh, is a huge Batman fan. And I'm a huge Batman fan, have been all my life. Can't tell. Uh, I made a, I made a Batman suit for Halloween and uh, it just seemed like a no-brainer to use it to do good. Uh, and it's grown from there where we've established uh, Hero Strong and brought in all these fine other volunteers. Oh. Holly, yes. what do you think? I think it's absolutely amazing. I have never seen suits like these. They're one of a kind, and I think it's really cool that I get to meet, as a little girl, I always wanted to meet my two favorite men, Batman and Spider-Man, and now I get... Oh, sorry. And Wolverine, Wolverine can come join too, but yeah. Uh, I'm super excited that they're all here and uh, I really do think it's for a great cause and we really appreciate all of you coming out here. I think we got about every superhero but one. Where's Superman? <laughs> well, I took care of that, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, yeah. Thank uh, you guys. I my mother we took care of that. All right, I'm out here at Dayton Metro Park, Dayton Island Metro Park, right? Yes. With me, my girl, Kelly Philback. <laughs> and uh, we're here, babe, what are we doing? We're supporting the cure for cystic fibrosis. And you know, SVG's proud to be here, but the, the woman behind SVG Motors is, she's been fighting cystic fibrosis from birth and she's been kicking its butt. She has been doing a great job with it. And we're out here, trying to raise some money. And uh, this is, how many times have we done this? Seven years. Seven okay. years Seven in a row. Years. This is an amazing, amazing thing. And guess what? The scientists and doctors are that close. That close? Yes. Even closer to, yeah. a, to a cure. So this is a beatable disease, but we need people to get out there and help out. There's a link that we're gonna put on the screen. Check it out, help out if you can. Um, and thanks everybody, our friends, our family. The SPG team for coming out and supporting us today. What's that? It's a gas can. Okay, yeah. This is like a sport type of... Uh, sport car. Yeah, for sport sports car. cars. What do you put in there? Silly gas. Okay. Let's get inside the car. All right. Can you, can you close it? Yeah. Okay. Well, go ahead and start it. Don't hit the gas just yet. Okay. Can I um, you can for a second. Whoa! That's a pretty good speaker system, would you say? All right. So, what do you know about the inside? What can you tell me about the inside here? I noticed that you put, you just pushed that button. How'd you know that that was to start it? You have to step on the brake be like before you like uh, turn it on. Uh -huh. You step on the brake. See? You, okay. So that just shut it off. Now let go. Now put your foot on the brake again. There you go. Look at that. There's can, the rumble bee again. Can I vroom real quick? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> That's impressive. That was me. Okay, so. Oh, I have to do it again. Let's talk to me about this. Is this so? What, what do you know about the screen? Because you know, when we're this selling cars, you got to be able to tell people about the car. So show me what you know here. This is what? this is the Bluetooth. Oh yeah, that's how you. So we hook up our phone. Oh man, I'm impressed. What about how do you do the navigation? Navigation. And is then that what do you do? You view the map? Is that? This is the map. It tells you where you are. <laughs> and then. And then. You know what? You probably could sell a lot of cars. Then we like a. It tells you where you're going. Every time you move the car, it tells you where you're at. 
wherever you are, it tells you where you are. So what if it's I a, need if I it's need a built-in GPS. A built-in GPS inside the radio. Okay, well what will this tell me how to get to the closest uh McDonald's? Like you drive to the closest McDonald's, it tells you where McDonald's are, then you go there. You wanna go right there now? Well, if we go there, well, what do you like then? What do you order? What do you order? Well, I asked you first. What do Sometimes you like Sometimes I there? get the Big Mac. Big Mac? This is a... What about chicken nuggets? Do you like those? Can what I get sauce a... do you get? Uh, honey mustard. I'm with you. I like the honey mustard. Okay, what about these buttons here? What's this right here? This is the Drake break. It's the Drake Every break. time you move, it... it it's like slows you down. Okay. This is how you shift the car. When you duck, when you want to shift it back, you use this one. Oh, when you want to shift it forward, you go to. How did you learn so much about cars? Uh, I drove this one, and then when I, I was, I think this one goes that way, and I pressed it, and the, I was shifting backwards. Then if I press this one, I was shifting up. Hey, can I see that hat you got there? You can't sell Chrysler. Oh, wait a minute. This is a Dodge. You have a Dodge hat. Yep. Can I wear it? it looks better on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. This is the horn. All right. Can I run it one more time? One more time. Let's see what this thing's made of. That's where that shake comes in. Okay. All right. Well, let's shut it. Let's shut it off. And I'm gonna tell you what. I rubbed it again. Let's go inside and talk. So like I said, I don't exercise at all. But every year I come up to the CF walk. Today I have two friends with two stories about CF that have touched my life um, over the past several years. And uh, just kind of wanted to share with you how important this event is um, and, and what happens in, in two different scenarios with CF, um, the good and the bad, unfortunately. But the good news is, first of all, Taryn, I saw Batman, Spider-Man, yeah. Deadpool. Deadpool. They call them superheroes. Yeah. Not one of them has had a double lung transplant. So in my eyes, they are weak. You're still my hero. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? <laughs> good. So you told, me, you told me you weren't gonna do it at the beginning, but then you did it. I did, I ran. <laughs> I wasn't going to run, but I did. <laughs> and, and you know, that's, that's awesome because I didn't run. Um, I know that's I'm not gonna lie. Show. I know. Um, show, I know. But what, explain how important this is to you and how this has this, affected you. This is actually a huge deal for us cystics. Um, we actually, every year we do this, um, we raise a lot of money. The money goes to the CF Foundation. All of it goes towards research and to find a cure for us so we can ultimately live happy and long and outlive you. Oh, I, I have no doubt. <laughs> you're, you're, just your tenacity alone is going to outlive me. Um, for those that, that didn't see the previous episode, explain to them kind of just real briefly what, what happened and, and why you're here today. I had a double lung transplant 16 months ago. I have been affected by CF for 25 years. I am doing really good now, though. And this is, like I said, this is a huge part of my life every day. So I, whatever I can do to support it. And, and that's what this cause is. I mean, the money raised um, for this event is, is what leads to, to solutions that, that help Taryn and people like her, you know, get, get that kind of treatment. Um, uh, then, I, then I have Chris, uh, my man. Yes. Um, I met Chris's brother eight, nine years ago. Yeah. And just coolest guy I ever met. Not a worry in the world. Um, at CF. Wouldn't have known it. Just lived life. And um, why, don't, why don't you share with everybody who, who your brother is? Well, my brother's Dustin Madden, and he did live life to the fullest. That was actually his uh, motto. Um, he he knew Taryn as well. They, you know, being CF patients, um, you know, fought the same battle. Um, 
you know, it was tough. We, we got to Cleveland to try to get a double lung transplant. But you would never have known, like he said, never have known that my brother had CF. Every day he started it with a smile. He was grateful for everything. And I don't think I ever heard him say, why me? He never questioned it. He just went with it and he kept fighting. And he fought till the last breath, literally to the last breath. He, um, he was an inspiration to me. Um, you know, Chris is <laughs> hell of a guy. <laughs> you know, I love both of you guys. Um, it's been a long road. You know, you, you don't understand how this cause affects people. Uh, and until you come out here and talk to people, uh, if you've never had somebody in your life that had CF, uh, I don't think you, you really understand. I would, I would look it up online. It's a, it's a, it's a brutal, brutal illness. Um, but everybody out here is fighting. They're, they're fighting for the cause. They're participating. They're giving their time. You know, everybody wants to relax on Sunday. You know, I wanted to, honestly. I, I was tired. I had a long week. But you know what? W when I thought about Dustin and Taryn, I said, my week's nothing compared to this. Um, and I will come here every year. And, and I hope each and every year, a few more of you come out until this is the largest event in Dayton. And, um, and yeah. It's growing. It can. Yeah. It's, it's, it can be. Turnout this year is pretty big. I mean, it's phenomenal. Every year. Yeah. Plus, bigger and bigger. The, the, the one thing I do have to share with you, the most amazing part about this is free hot dogs and burgers. <laughs> Ice cream. And ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. I just came for the ice cream, honestly. <laughs> I mean, well. if you come out for that, we're there. Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next year. Peace. Is there something we can help you with? I got this. Is there anything I can help? Look for a new car. That blue one out front. Seen you driving it earlier. That one's sold. Sold. Man, did you buy it off of underneath me? Someone else bought it from California. California? It's a long way. Hey, Alex, I gotta tell you, I'm really, really impressed with you. I, I, I just can't get over how much you know about the cars, and you're just, you got a, you got a bright future, but I got one question. Why did you tell that guy that the blue Challenger's already sold? I wanted my mom and dad to buy it. <laughs> oh, smart too. Uh, we've done the Great Strides Walk for seven years now. It's a really good event. It uh, we raise a lot of money. It's for a great cause. My daughter has uh, cystic fibrosis. This is my daughter, Kelly. She's 35. Um, they at first said she was a fail to thrive baby, and we got um, in contact with a fantastic doctor by the name of Dr. Spooler from Children's Hospital, who uh, decided to do some sweat chloride test on her and uh, tested her for CF. I'd never heard of it before, and uh, she tested positive. Two tests, both were positive. So, yeah, eight weeks. We started our adventure at Children's <laughs> Hospital. We spent 16 days in the ICU. We were sent home with lots of equipment, lots of sterilization equipment, uh, iodine packs scrubbing from our fingertips to our elbows for about six months. A lot of things have changed since Kelly was diagnosed. It's um, it's a way better now. You know, the treatments, they, we don't have to like sterilize like we used to. And, well, she's a big girl now. She does all that herself. Uh, cystic fibrosis has touched me in two ways, actually. Um, most intimately, our best friends have a daughter with cystic fibrosis. So uh, she um, is now in her 30s and very healthy. And my husband and I watch them do all the treatments. And we learned a lot about the disease. And then I'm also a physician and have taking care of patients with cystic fibrosis. And so uh, I've seen them professionally uh, as a resident um, at, at Dayton Children's Hospital. I was really curious. I asked them about, is it gonna affect my child mentally, you know, physically? Um, and the doctor uh, just kind of took us in and sat us down and explained to us that it was a progressive illness and uh, life expectancy at that time was age 19. Here we are almost 36 years later, <laughs> so it's, it's been awesome. 
think parents of any uh, child with a chronic disease, whether it's cystic fibrosis or something else, uh, really don't take anything for granted. And, and it's true that people who are lucky enough to have totally healthy children don't uh, understand how lucky they are. Uh, but I think um, Kelly uh, and her parents have em embraced the disease. They haven't run from it. They've done all the work that's required, both uh, doing the treatments, taking her to her doctor's appointments, uh, taking her into the hospital when she got real sick, and Kelly herself taking all of her medicines and, and letting her dad do those treatments when she just wanted to be a little girl and play outside like all the other kids. Uh, the advice that we give to other parents is um, Hang in there, you know, I mean, the, the, in the beginning it's a little rough, but it does get better, it gets a little easier, um, especially when they get older. Lots of love and support, just being there, you know, and sometimes there's, there's rough times and it gets a little sad, but um, you just push through, push through, and, and just keep that faith, you know, that everything's going to be okay. So, we've been blessed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think we're all busy people. I'm a pediatrician and that keeps me busy, but um, I'm, I'm a person too, and I think everyone needs to realize that um, nothing is bigger than the health of people who have chronic diseases, and to give a, a very small fraction of my time for this is something very easy to do. We're so blessed. We have the best friends in the world. You know, they would I don't know how many people we had today, do you? About 50. Yeah, about 50. But all of our friends come out, they all donate. We have such a good time with this event. And all the people who come out, the Ritters, you know, and the you get a, lots of little freebies out here. You know, of course, hand sanitizers, uh, protein bars, drinks, shakes, and the food, and the whole thing, the music. It's just a great day. It's a really great day. And beautiful weather today for this thing. Couldn't ask for anything more. I feel blessed that we have a lot of um, close friends who I consider family um, that come support us every year for this event and during the year. It doesn't have to just be today. Um, it could be times doing my treatment, friends sit around, talk to me, we watch television, uh, laugh at how I talk when I have my vest on because it makes me sound funny. Um, it's just supports the biggest thing for anybody with any illness. I think it's a lot of mind over matter. Um, if you feel great and you have a good support system, I think it helps tremendously for anything. I just want to say thanks to everyone that came out to support, not just my friends and family. There's a lot of different teams out here coming to support. Thanks to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation for putting this event together. Um, they have them on a lot of different areas, not just Dayton. Um, and, you know, we're all so grateful for everything everyone does. The more we raise, the closer we are to a cure. <clears throat> so if you, if you can find it in your heart or... Um, time to donate, not just money, but your time to these events. Uh, everybody's very grateful. Kelly's Warriors! Well, that wraps up another episode of SVG Motors Weekly. Just want to say thanks from the entire team at SVG Motors. And if you like what you saw in the episode, you can see more at SVG Motors YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel and see a bunch of cool stuff. Also at Facebook, you can like us there and get more content there. So, see you next week right here, SVG Motors Weekly.